The Protection Act in theory was to look after Aboriginal people, but it really was uh, an act that stopped Aboriginal people from practising their culture, uh, talking their language, and even walking out of the place of Sherbet and going to visit somewhere else. We knew we weren't allowed to go into Mergen, uh, and so we knew that we weren't allowed down this end of town. The toilets in the town was whites only. It was more like a uh, concentration camp, for want of a better word. Like back in the days, our parents didn't get cash in their hand for working. It was, uh, you go down to the ration shed and you'd get your supply of your flour, sugar, tea. They had to get permission to get married, permission to go to town, permission to go to Brisbane. At the beginning, I thought it was because the government was looking after us. That's why we were restricted. But then as you got older and you, you learn about the outside world and what's happening out there and all the opportunities out there, you sort of get a bit angry. I suppose with most of it growing up as a child, I didn't really quite understand it uh, until I got older and, you know, felt that uh, a lot of injustices have been done, you know, to our people. And especially Sherbrooke being a place of many tribes that were sent here in the early days, I think that was the, the biggest loss there where it was the languages. It was very restricted, but at the same time we couldn't compare our conditions with anywhere else because this was the only life that we knew. I feel I had a really happy childhood here. It was just such a fun time, you know, the Bramber Creek was flowing and I don't think we were ever bored as children. Our grandmother was very strict, but there was a lot of love there as well. Their self was part of the stolen generation, and I think she was very protective of us, her grandchildren, because she lost her family and never ever got to see them again. We had some wonderful, wise old people uh, who took the time to listen to us. I was the superintendent of Sherberg here from about 83 to 85. And being superintendent meant that you were the person responsible for making sure that the Queensland Protection Act was adhered to. I came in, into it at the time when we wanted to change it. And then we changed it in 1986 so that each of these communities now are shy councils within their own rights. I think Sherberg today is, is, is a way uh, different place to what it was back in the early 1950s. The younger ones are more outspoken than I ever was, so I applaud them for that. There's a lot of our younger generation really look at the, our history so that they can make it a better future for themselves as, as well as their children. I think we have the freedom today to determine what we want for this community. And I think if we do it in the right way and if we do it in a cultural way, then everybody will benefit. <laughs>